Yes guys, welcome back, back with another video. So right now, we are now six weeks out from my first show of the season. We're in at Shreds, which is my favorite gym to train at. Not only are it my favorite gym, we're also about to do my favorite workout of the week, which is push. So we're gonna get straight into it, crack on, and we'll talk as we go. Let's get into it, let's go. It's all good uh, logging your sessions until you lose your book. So last weekend, went and trained at a different gym. Realized after that I actually left the book there. Luckily, I can remember most of my numbers, so we go again. Ooh. So exercise one, starting with a flat press on this hammer strength machine. Same as all my other sessions with the pull and the leg session that we filmed. I'll do a loading set first, followed by a back off set, and that'll go for the first couple of exercises. But let's get into this first. See, this is where I'm guessing a little bit. I know what weight I used, I can't remember what reps I got. So this is the point where getting to lift these heavier weights gets a bit tougher. But I'm happy with that, that's matching what I got previously. Now I'm going to back off with the weight a little bit, go for the back off set. So, second exercise, moving to an incline press. So how I program my chest workouts is so simple. I'll always do three exercises and then maybe add a fourth, but the three will always be a flat press, an incline press to hit more on the upper chest, and then a fly for isolation where I'll then take the reps a little bit higher. And then today, as I'm doing chest first in this session, I'll add a fourth exercise where I'm just going more reps on the press, just trying to burn it out to finish before then moving on to the delts, of, uh, delts part of the workout. Oof. Yeah, that's gonna be heavy enough for the loading set. So same again on this, one heavy set, one lighter set, where I'm gonna then aim for between eight and 12 reps. So that's my intention with each body part. Start strong, now we isolate, focus more on blood flow, getting a good pump, which becomes harder at this point. So we just wanna get good reps in. So onto the pec fly it is.
Was that on the full stack and I didn't notice? Probably. I thought it felt heavy. <laughs> if you look at this machine, I was aiming for 15 reps. I put this on. Little did I realize this. It was on the full stack. I got seven reps. I was wondering why I was feeling so weak. Prep head kicking in. Let's take that off. But let's do it now, higher reps this time. Fast bell. That's better. Last chest exercise, just going to do a couple of sets on here. Just now, aiming to really squeeze, get the elbows close together, just to burn out the chest to finish. Then we're going to go onto the shoulders. So this is why this gym is one of my favorites, the range of machines in here. Moving on shoulders, this has got to be one of my favorite shoulder press machines from Hammer Strength. So we're gonna get into this. As we're moving from the chest, we wanna get these delts a bit more warmed up. So I'll do a couple of lighter sets before again moving into a load set and a back off set. And then after that on the delts, we'll do some isolation work. So moving on to the isolation on the delts. So I'll do two push sessions a week. This one today I'll start with chest. The one earlier in the week I'll start with shoulders. Shoulders are an area that I really want to work. So even when I do them second now, even though the exercises are only going to be three exercises, I'm going to add quite a bit of volume in by adding some drop sets in. And uh, we'll do that on this and the next lateral raise exercise that I do.
Okay, so did the hammer strength machine for lat raises. Threw in some partials there where I started to hit failure. Now we're going with dumbbell lat raises. Again, we're just doing a single drop set, couple of sets, burn out the delts, get a pump on those, and then we'll move on to triceps to finish. prep now where I start to flag towards the end of the sessions. To be honest, it hasn't been too bad today in comparison to earlier in the week. Still feeling okay, but now we're gonna finish last exercise with some rope on the triceps. Finish them off, and then we'll wrap it up and get some posing done as well. So it's also the point in prep where any sign of food, any smell of food, you're gonna notice it. So I've just got a smell of toast. It smells amazing. Just look down there, someone's made a bagel. Okay, so that's the session all done. Like I say, that's my favorite workout of the week, doing push here at Shreds. The main reason I wanted to do this YouTube series though, as I've said before, is I want to share the realities of prep. I want to share the whole journey, not only for myself to look back on, but most importantly, to help others who are thinking of competing in shows, doing natural bodybuilding, thinking of doing natural men's physique as well. And one thing that I will say is at this point, things do get tough, you do get tired, energy is going to be low, but you have to find something within you to keep pushing and get it done. Another thing I've noticed, especially with myself over the recent weeks, since the last video, as I've felt more tired, my emotions are heightened, and I'm also starting to doubt myself a little bit more and the things that I can't control. So my goal is always to win, and I can't control that. I can't control the judge's decision on the day. So it's been playing with my head more and more. I've sacrificed a lot for this prep, especially this year. And, and you start to think, what if this sacrifice doesn't pay off? But what you do need to know is that that doubt in winning is only gonna push you to be better. And what we can control is to make sure that when we are prepping for a show, we beat ourselves from the previous year and get better and better and better. 
not only is that going to help you in terms of bodybuilding prep, but it's going to help you in other areas of your life. So you're going to apply that to everything that you do. And that can mean a lot more, and it does mean a lot more, sorry, than anything else that happens on stage. So keep pushing yourself is the message that I'm telling myself every single day. And I'm sure that I'll walk away proud at the end of it all. There we go guys, session all wrapped up. Seen how I'm looking, that's where we're at. We're six weeks out from the first show of the season. Since the last video, again, not too much has changed. I've dropped my carbs a little bit more by another 50 grams. Start a prep at 300 grams of carbs, I'm now down to 200. It's quite a simple process really. You find your calorie deficit and you just find ways to just keep it going. So when things slow down a little bit, all I'll do is make a little change. There will be more changes to come over the coming weeks. I'm getting closer, but I know there's still a bit more to go to bring the condition that I want to bring. But we're nearly there, six weeks out. It's just a case of keep on going. Thanks for watching once again. Thank you to Peter again for joining me with the camera. Great session here at Shreds. Plenty more to come over the coming weeks. We're going to get more regular videos in. So please, please, please do me a massive favor. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you all on the next one.